Hi guys, welcome to my platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so I've got a question with me right over here. So we need to solve this one. Find the range of values of x. This is an inequality. It's not an, equ an equation. It's an inequality because of this sign over here. Okay, but when it comes to solving, the procedure, the method must just be the same. The way you solve quadratic equation. Look, when you've got a quadratic equation which looks like this. Let's say this is your quadratic equation. The same met uh, method or the same way on how you solve this quadratic equation must be the same on how you will solve this inequality. The only difference will be at the end after finishing solving. That's where it will differ. But the solutions, the procedure, the steps must be the same. So when you've got an equation or the quadratic equation like this, you first put it in standard form. Okay, where this 4 will come this side, it will look like this, equal to 0. This is what you first do. This same method is what we are going to do with this one. There is a 4 here. So 4 will come here, this position. So the only difference here will just be the sign, like that. Okay? So instead of moving with an equal sign, we'll be moving with this less than sign. Okay? So after you've done that, you find the factors. Two numbers such that when you multiply them they give you negative 12 and when you add them they give you this right over here negative uh, the sum so those two numbers are negative uh, negative 6 and uh, positive uh, 2 those are the two numbers so for the sake of those people who don't know how to solve quadratic equation Let's give them an idea on how we've managed to find these two numbers. So let's say you've been given this quadratic equation uh, in quality. Or let's say it's, an, it's a quadratic equation. You need, uh, there is A, B, C. The standard form of a quadratic equation will look like this. A, X, power 2, plus B, X, plus a C is equal to a 0. This is where we're getting an idea, okay? So now, you need to identify your product. Product means multiplication. So your product, you're going to multiply the number which is right here times this number. That's your product. So we're going to say 3 times negative 4, which will give us a negative 12, okay? We now identify our sum. The sum will always be the B. B is always your sum. So check, our B is right here, it's negative 4. So these are the, it's the product and, uh, and the sum. So now after identifying your product and the sum, you find the factors. You find the factors. So factors will be these two numbers, the factors. Now how do you get these factors? You just um, think of numbers, two numbers, when you multiply them, they give you negative 12. And when you add them, they give you negative, uh, negative 4. So those two numbers are negative 6 and a 2. Because when I multiply negative 6 times 2, I'm getting a negative 12. Negative 6 plus 2, I'm getting a, positive, uh, a negative uh, 4. So those are the two numbers or factors. So when you get these factors, you substitute them here at this point where 4x is at b. Put them there. So for your original inequality, you maintain this. They will have maintained. You also maintain this. They will have maintained. But where there was b, you substitute these two. That's how it goes, guys. Hopefully, you've gotten an idea. So now from this stage, you just solve by grouping. You solve by grouping factorization here so these two and these two will be grouped so we shall say 3x 
What is it that is common found here and here? It's 3x. 3x outside, we shall remain with x minus a 2. Because 3 and 2, negative 6, it's negative 2. x and x, it's a 1. And then we say plus. 2 here is common. So we shall remain with x minus a 2. Less than a, a 0. Okay? So now, after reaching this point, after reaching this point, we get what is in front of the, the brackets. We've got 3x, this 3x plus 2. It's in front of the brackets and this also. We've got now these two which are common. Just get one of them. You write it right here. And this is how it will look like. So now from this stage, you say 3x plus a 2 is less than a 0 or x minus a 2 is less than a 0. So we solve these equations. Of course, this one will give us a 2. X is less than a 2. For this one, it will give us a x is less than negative 2 over a 3. Okay. So what I've done here to those people who don't know what has, what has happened here. I'll start with this one. I've, I've just got an x minus 2 is less than a 0. So I grouped the like terms. 0 plus a 2, which gave us a, a 2. This one here, x is less than a 2. The next one here, I just got the same 3x plus 2 is less than a 0. Group the like terms, it will be 0 minus a 2. 3x, my, uh, sorry, 3x is less than a negative 2. You divide by a 3, both sides. This is what we have right here. So now, this is, uh, we've gotten this, but these are not the final solutions we need. This is where it differs. For quadratic equations, we end at this point. But for inequalities, there is a last part which we need to, to do. And that's a part which differentiates quadratic equations from a uh, uh, quadratic inequalities okay so for this one we are going to get uh, these two solutions so let me write them here so we we have uh, we have x is less than uh, negative 2 over 3 or x is less than uh, a 2 so after getting those two you, you do your number line like this. Okay? And then here you put the smaller number, which is a negative 2 over 3. Here, greater number, okay, which is a 2. And then you check the sign, which is here. It's less. So just do this if it's less. And here you do this, okay? So when you do that, you start testing. Pick any number which is less than uh, negative 2 over 3. I can pick negative 2 if I want. I can pick negative any number which is found, which is for, for as long as it's less than this. Again, you pick a number, any number between negative 2 over 3 and 2. I can pick a 0 or a 1, it's fine. I'll pick a 0. Pick a number here uh, which is greater than uh, a 2. I'll pick a 3 or 4. Let me just pick a 4, any number, okay? So once you pick those numbers, once you pick those numbers, guys, you now start testing. You can do your calculations or use your calculator. Get this number, substitute it here. Let me go with this one, the original. Substitute it where x is in the original. Okay? Substitute it where x is. So you can see, if I substitute 3 open bracket, I want to substitute negative 2, negative, uh, negative 2 squared minus 4, and then here negative 2, where x is. Wherever x is, I'm substituting a negative 2. It's giving me a 20. Now, in your own thinking, 
Can you say 20 is less than a 4? 20 is less than this 4? Are you sure? Not really. So our solutions can't be found this side. No. We come to a 0. So when you substitute a 0 here, a 0 here, it will be 0. Because 0 here, uh, minus 0 here, it will be 0 less than a 4. Is this true? Yes. So this is true. So any number, if you want, you can pick a 1. Because 1 is found in between. You substitute a 1. When you substitute a 1 here and here, of course, you're going to have a, a negative 1 less than 4, which is true. So any number that you pick for as long as it's between uh, negative 2 over 3 and 2, it will, it will satisfy this. Any number greater than 2, I mean 4, I mean uh, 2 right here, 2, will get a 4. Try to put a 4 here and here. Let me see. 3 open bracket, 4 uh, squared minus 4 open bracket, 4 there 32 so it will be 32 is less than 4 is this true not really so this is uh, not true so now we've now found where the solutions are found so the solutions will be in between those two numbers so we can even write like this we can you can do this you know that eh? they are found here so for this one from here going this way, for this one from here going this way. You even shade this part. Okay? So that's one of the solutions if you want. If you don't want to write it like this, you can write it like this. Uh, negative 2 over 3 is less, is less. This one is less than x, less than a, a 2. So uh, this is also the solution. If you don't want to write in this manner, you can write it in this way. Let me show you. You can say, uh, open bracket, negative 2 over 3, comma, okay? Infinity, because it's from here going to infinity, and then you close, you say intersect. It's the intersection in between. If the arrows, if the solutions are found this way and this way, it's union. But now they are found in between. It's the intersection. So intersection, open bracket, you write negative infinity, comma, a 2. So it's from uh, these two going to infinity. So this is also one way of writing the solution. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Hopefully you've gotten one or two things out of this. Thank you and bye-bye.